Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on creating siding in Revit. So siding is basically when you have the that little wood on the facade of the building and it's actually uh, more or more today is made out of some sort of a composite material or some sort of a synthetic material but originally it, it, it was done using wood and it's basically a type of facade it's uh, I think it's most common in the USA. Uh, now I, I'm from Europe I'm from Serbia so I don't really uh, see that that much that often but uh, I think it's an interesting challenge challenge to kind of try to recreate that siding in Revit and make it work with the project and uh, make it work most efficiently so you don't have to kind of model everything manually you can create just one wall and then reuse it uh, as, as much as you want so in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create that siding in Revit but before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. Actually, with the YouTube algorithm and everything, if you like the tutorial, YouTube pushes that video through and recommends it, and it really helps me out with the views, and that's always good. And also, if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe, because I make useful Revit tutorials uh, pretty much each week, and I make multiple tutorials each week. Also, I make one advanced Revit course each week, and it's usually over one hour long, or it's always over one hour long. And and uh, I have like 26 so out so far and these are really cool courses I, I go in depth in numerous Revit topics so if you want to check that out first a link in the description to my patreon there you can find all of the information on that so all of my advanced courses and also all of my project files like this wall that we're going to be creating today okay with that out of the way let's get into the tutorial okay so as you can see here uh, on my screen I have Revit opened up so I'm just going to to go here uh, and create a new project so I'm just going to go here to new and I'm going to choose the architectural template this being an architectural project so let's just click OK and wait for a second for Revit to start up okay so once we're here in a Revit what I'm actually going to be uh, doing is I'm going to start of course a new wall so just go here to architecture or wall or alternatively use the WA shortcut for that and there we go we have our wall command now I'm going to be showing you two approaches one is maybe a bit of a quicker approach but it's uh, a bit less tech it's it needs more work later on but it gives it gets the job done and the second approach is going to be the more complex approach uh, but once you do it you have a perfect uh, siding wall in Revit okay so let's do that so for the first approach I'm just going to place one wall over here on screen as you can see now I'm going to go here into edit type uh, to get the type properties for this wall let's maybe make the window a bit smaller okay so one once we're here I'm going to go here into the wall structure but before that I suggest you always go ahead and click duplicate and then create a new version of the wall so let's call it uh, side wall siding okay hit enter for okay and now we're going to go into structure and make some changes so for the structure of this wall usually you would have some sort of a uh, wood construction with some columns and beams and stuff like that now I have a tutorial where I explain that in detail and a link to that is in the description of this video so check that out if you don't know how to do it so basically our structural uh, material is going to be insulation because in between these structural uh, the structural framing we have insulation so here for this wall we're just going to add that insulation so I'm just going to type in insulation let's see okay we've got this rigid insulation so let's go ahead with that and for the thickness let's go with something like 150 millimeters I'm going with millimeters of course if you're using the imperial units go ahead and use those anyways I'm going to hit here the core boundary and insert a layer above and then insert a layer over here and then drop it down below so this is for the, this is the exterior side this is the interior side and we have to have one same layer both on the interior and exterior and it's going to be only 10 millimeters thick and it's going to be some sort of a wood paneling uh, usually some sort of chipboard or something like that and for a uh, you can call it a uh, uh, let's call it a is uh, um, hmm let's call it a structure material or maybe a finish material I think that's a better option so let's go ahead with finish and uh, let's see do we have some sort of a 
plywood yeah we can go with plywood sheeting for that and let's do the same thing for this one so plywood sheeting so you just go to this little dot click there and then add that layer so once we have those two layers now we have to add the siding layer so the siding layer is of course going to be on the exterior side so you just click here on this finish layer you insert a new layer make sure it's uh, categorized with its function as finish and then you need to go here to material and uh, before that of course let's add the thickness so let's say for thickness we're going to go with 15 millimeters I think that's enough and now let's set the material so for okay don't care about that okay uh, let's uh, let's make this smaller so my head doesn't protrude into this okay there we go so for this uh, I'm actually going to just type in wood and then here uh, underneath in these search results now if you don't see this uh, you should probably have some sort of like a window like this okay so just go with wood and then Okay, maybe expand this menu a little bit. Let's see what do we have. We should have some sort of a siding. Okay, so we have this siding and as you can see it looks really nice. It looks like siding. So you would just load this in, uh, hit apply. Okay, there you go. So you have that siding layer. Uh, hit OK just to finish that. And now if we were to go to 3D and go to this uh, wall, make sure it's realistic. As you can see here we have that uh, siding. Now this looks nice and it's decent, but uh, it's decent for renderings. But if you want to do something like details or something like that or some... Uh, uh, sections of the wall where wall looks uh, really detailed with that siding like little zigzag line and uh, let's go ahead and create a section so I'm just going to go here for a section there we go and uh, if I make the uh, level of detail a bit finer uh, let's see and turn on 10 lines as you can see it looks just like this just like one more layer doesn't look that good so we need to fix that and let's fix that by uh, going ahead with uh, the second approach so for the second approach we need to go to this wall go into edit type and here go into a structure and for structure I'm just going to get rid of this finish layer so get rid of it now if we go ahead and make this menu maybe a bit smaller move it off to the side and go with a preview View and uh, just make sure that the preview view is uh, turned to section view and once we're here what we can do now is go ahead and add sweeps now to add sweeps sweeps are basically a profile that goes along the side of your wall so for that I, I need to add a profile but we don't have a profile so we need to create that first so what I'm actually going to do is just get rid of all of these uh, dialogues okay and let's go ahead to file new and create a new profile family so for this you need to search just for a profile family so just go with metric profile hit open there we go we have a metric profile and I'm going to go with lines and just do a rectangle so let's say one of those uh, siding uh, like profiles is it's like 15 millimeters perhaps uh, in thickness and the length is let's say 160 uh, millimeters or we can go with maybe 10 millimeters I think that would be an overkill okay so what I'm going to do now is go here to rotate uh, go here with place center of rotation place it here then go just like this and rotate rotate it a little bit now this is way too much so what I'm going to do is go here to create a line and just do one line over here that's five millimeters off the ground and that should be at 10 millimeters just like this now you go back to this thing so you just hover over it hit the tab key once and then you select the whole thing so just like this and then you go back to rotate back to place center of rotation place it here uh, select uh, maybe here to like rotate it and then go to this spot there we go so now it's perfectly positioned now I'm just going to select the whole thing go into the move command and just make sure that it's touching this here reference plane so just move it straight down to the reference plane okay we have our profile done now before we load it into the project really important thing make sure you save that family so what I'm going to do is go here to create or back to save and I'm just going to save it on my desktop to save time and let's call it siding profile okay uh, just hit save there we go load it into the project and now it's loaded back in this project so we can select the wall uh, go into edit type okay uh, ah, this menu is again way too large 
can we resize this nope okay i can work with this okay so let's go here to edit yeah turn on that preview go to sweeps and here we have sweeps now we need to go and add a, a new sweep and now you will go with profile and go with that siding profile for material we will go with the siding material for example or you can go with any wood material if you prefer something different actually because this siding material has those lines it might be a better option to go and just search for some wood i like using birch wood because i like the color and the texture so let's go with that and we have that and the distance uh, is just going to be uh, zero and yeah let's leave everything yeah exterior side make sure it's always on the exterior side and that should be all right so let's just hit apply and okay and go here to the section just zoom in and as you can see uh, it's perfectly positioned so once we have one of these in place let's go back to sweeps and let's select that profile and let's duplicate that and now for distance uh, let's see so for distance let's try doing 155 millimeters for the second one hit apply there we go so we have a second one so we're just going to be offsetting those at 150 millimeters so i'm just going to duplicate it a bunch of times so here that should be 310 here that should be uh, 465 i actually have this written down so I, I i i'm not really calculating this fast i'm actually uh, reading it off a little piece of paper a cheat sheet if you will so this is 75 this should be uh, 930 and let's see this one is 1085 okay let's just duplicate a few more times so the next one is 1240 this one is 100 195 and this one is uh let's go with 1550 there we go hit apply okay and there we go so now if you zoom out as you can see you have a bunch of these now depending on the height of your wall or on the total height of your wall uh, you may add more of these i'm just going up to 1.5 uh, meters so i'm just going to hit okay here apply okay and there we go now if you go here into a section as you can see it looks like this and it looks a lot more detailed looks a lot better but the important thing is if you go into 3d this is what it looks like in 3d actually looks really nice but uh, if you go into your uh, just a level view go into architecture and add a door here and uh, maybe next to that add a bingo window here and now if we go into 3d as you can see uh, those will actually poke a hole into our siding and they will appear there properly so that's the important thing that the siding works with our uh, other elements that are hosted on that wall in this case that would be just a door and a window okay so that covers this tutorial on how to do siding uh, for walls and you can of course reuse this wall load it into other projects use it for whatever you want and it will always look perfect and the details with it will look amazing okay so that covers this tutorial thank you for watching uh, please subscribe like and share this tutorial if if you want the project file that I created here, go to my Patreon, first a link in the description. Also there you can find all of my advanced Balkan architect courses, all are over one hour long. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today, thank you for watching and I'll see you in a couple of days with another tutorial. Bye!